good that you're here. Hopefully you've seen part one already on composite functions. And uh, this is the second part on this topic. We have, for instance, the function fx equals minus 2x minus, uh, well, what should we do, 12. And another function gx. And that one is x squared plus 5. Okay, and they're going to ask me now f g x. Okay, we're going to write it down, write down the function or the formula for f g x, which is a composite function. Yeah, it consists out of f and g, both of those uh, functions. Now, what does it mean? That's what we noticed in uh, the previous video is that I have to plug in g, the function g, into f for x. Okay, what does that mean? Well, start with f and rather than x I have now put in the function g now what is the function g it is x squared plus 5 yeah so I'm going to evaluate my function f for x squared plus 5 so minus 2 times x becomes minus 2 times x squared plus 5 yeah? because that's the function g minus 12 yeah so we expand those brackets minus 2 x squared minus 10 minus 12 and we simplify by combining the right terms minus 2x squared minus 22 so that is the answer to this problem that's the composite function yeah where we say fgx means putting x in f okay so x squared plus 5 put it in f for x okay now the language is difficult and uh, the maths Hopefully you already start to see now is quite straightforward. Okay, let's go to the next video.